Welcome, Fume Heads, to Winter Collaboration 2012-2013, where if you've never seen a collaboration video before, basically what the gist of this is, is a bunch of YouTubers get together and give you our personal favorites out of three categories for the season, and this time it's winter, and those categories are casual, night out, and cozy. Of course we gotta have cozy, it's winter time, it's freezing outside, at least it is here anyway, it's like zero degrees outside, damn. Uh, but to get things started, I'm gonna give you my picks, and for my casual scent, I am going with Mother by Opus Oils. One that I just discovered this year, absolutely love it. What I get out of Opus Oils is a boozy, earthy fig and chocolate fragrance. I could wear this stuff every day. Man, love this stuff. Now, as for my night out fragrance, I am going with the one, the only, Black Afghano. And why I choose Black Afghano is because for a night out fragrance, I'm gonna want something that's classy, but I'm also gonna want something uh, that's naughty and playful as well, and Black Afghano fits that bill for me. Perfectly, the class in this fragrance comes from the sweetness. There's a sweetness in this fragrance that brings to my mind like dark wine, bringing in some elegance. But then there's also a rugged, naughty side that comes out, the woods, the incense, the hash. Damn, just done perfectly. This fragrance has so much damn character. <laughs> me and Black Afghano, partners for life, that's all I got to say. <laughs> now, moving on for cozy time is another fragrance that I just discovered this year. I got in on a split. I don't have the bottle, uh, but it is uh, Santal Majuscule by Serge Luton's. Man, do I love this. This has become my favorite sandalwood fragrance. Just milky, creamy, and soft. Just beautiful as hell. Love it. Now, those are my picks. If I were you, I would get a piece of paper and a pen ready because I have a feeling there are a bunch of rock stars about to be mentioned and you're going to want to get them down. So without further ado, let the show begin. What's up you two? It's D-Greg846. My casual winner scent for 2012 is none other than the sweet, sexy YSL Lana Wheat Galone. If I'm just hanging out in the town, going to the movies, what have you, just going shopping. I like to have DR on the original formula, not the intense version. This projects better. If it's a really special occasion, I like to stand out and smell really good and feel really good by myself. It's none other than morphine from the X-ray house. Very boozy scent, very masculine, very delicious. When the day is over, the night is over, we're going back home and cuddle by a cozy fireplace. Let's keep it hot by none other than Taste of Fragrance, AKA Pure Chili. Very spicy, that dries down to a nice, delicious cinnamon bun, covered with vanilla icing. Happy Holidays. What's up YouTube, Christo here, and I have my picks for winter 2012. Doing mine a little differently, I just couldn't get three fragrances into one minute, so I took the two that I love the most. First one, for a night out, uh, this fragrance is woody, it's spicy, it's oriental, it's got an amazing tobacco note. This couldn't be anything other than Fumeri Turk from Serge Luton. This is very classy, masculine. This is definitely big boy stuff. Would work perfectly for a classy night out. Highly recommended. Second pick, I'm taking Escada Magnetism for my Cozy by the Fire pick. This is woody, resinous, kind of boozy as well. Without a doubt, this is one of the sexiest fragrances I own. If you were going to wear this by the fire, getting cozy with your significant other, they are definitely want to get even cozier. Amazing. I love this stuff as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you like my picks. Hey y'all, it's me again, Boo, back with the fragrances I've been wearing a lot lately since the weather's turned cold. Uh, lesser expensive one that I've been wearing during the day is Voyage and Mediterranean by L'Occitane and Provence, also known as Labdanum. A nice, sweet, warm, resinous fragrance that's light enough to wear during the day. It's like 50 55 bucks. My more expensive one is by Hilde Soliani and it's Crema de Latte. Smells like I like I Love New York for All by Bond Number no. 9, but without the city funk. But I love the funk. 
but I love that too. My lesser expensive nighttime scent is by Sonoma Scent Studios, and this is Tobacco Aurea, which is a spicy tobacco smell. And my more expensive fragrance for nighttime is Amber Absolute by Tom Ford. A beast! My wild card is a recent acquisition by a lab on fire called Liquid Night. Love it. Fabulous, peppery, woody smell. Anyway, happy holidays, everybody. Peace. Hey, fragrance community. What's up? Justin here. Going to be doing my top picks for winter 2012. All right, let's get this rolling. Top pick for winter casual wear is going to be Deep Teak. Oh, Dweb. I love this one. It's nice, nice, very smooth vanilla fragrance with florals on the back. Super appealing, stays close to the skin. Great for casual wear. <clears throat> all right, now, my fragrance for a night out. You guys all know this one. I love it. It's a designer. Uh, two of these are going to be designer. One's niche, deep teak with niche. But you guys all heard of this one. You've all seen it everywhere. It's going to be the one and only Givenchy Play Intense. Love the coffee in this one. Spray this all over me for a night out. It lasts me. Uh, I love the sweetness in this one. Great. Now, the fragrance to just sit by the fire and be cozy. It's going to be, you guys are going to be like, what? What? That, that piece of crap, that powdery bomb. Yeah, Burberry Bur This one is just super comforting to me. I love the powder, uh, the bergamot and the ginger in this one. I love it. All right. All right, guys. Those are my picks for winter 2012. Hello everyone, Cody here. It's time for me to go over my top picks for the winner for this collaboration video. Let's start off with my casual or my top casual pick. It is a new one that I really haven't gone over at all. It is from the house of Olfactive Studio, Chambre Noir. It is a set, a set that has a lot of incense, papyrus, sandalwood, musk, vanilla. It is very beautiful and very wearable for everyday use. So. Chambre Noir. And coming in for our, or for my night out fragrance, we have a familiar one, has been around for a while. It is none other than Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Now, this is a very beautiful tobacco, vanilla, deep, rich scent that I absolutely love. This winter, I plan on wearing a lot of suits. I've actually started wearing some suits more just out to casual, uh, or I'm sorry, or two different night out scenarios. So Tobacco Vanille, I absolutely love it for the winter night out. And for my cozy, you know, between the sheets, cozy type of a scent, we've got none other than, oh, another one of, you know, I'll, I'll buy probably my most favorite scent. It is Frederic Moll's Mosk uh, a very, a very deep seductive smell. Most of you actually know what it smells like. So those are my picks. Have a great winter, guys. Hey, what's going on guys? Raj here. My pick for the winter casual scent is going to be L'Occitane's Eau de Beau. I think this is an incredibly great value fragrance. Uh, nice bit of cypress and pepper and incense. A bit spicy and woody at the same time. Um, this is a great alternative to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. A great alternative to L'Artisan Tea for Two and also Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb. Eau de Beau from L'Occitane for my winter casual. Winter formal scent. I'm going to go with Maison Francis Kerjans, and this is Absolute Pour la Soir. I think this is a very thick orange blossom Absolute, made um, a little bit sweet from the amber, a bit of honey in there, um, and it's an excellent, excellent fragrance. Great choice for the winter. And my choice for Christmas Day, I'm going to go with Clive Christian's Sea for Men. Heavy on the tobacco and the spice and oud. This is a extremely complicated fragrance and uh, those are my choices thanks for watching bye what's going on everybody andy here with my fragrance picks for the winter of 2012. first up for the daytime serge lutens five o'clock is jeune jambe in my opinion one of the most versatile and easy to pull off fragrances from the serge lutens house ginger tea cinnamon cedar sure to get the job done for you fantastic juice now for those cold winter nights, you need a heavy hitter, something to get you noticed and stand out at those holiday parties. Frederick Mall's Portrait of a Lady is what I'm going to be reaching for. Don't be fooled by the name, gentlemen. I truly believe this is unisex and it's one of the most gorgeous and complex rose fragrances I have ever smelled. Combined with black currant, clove, cinnamon, sandalwood, incense, 
one of the best offerings from the Frederick Mall House, in my humble opinion. Now, when it's time to get cozy, curl up by the fire with my better half, I'll be reaching for an old favorite, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Still in love with this juice. It's what I wore last winter time when I proposed to my fiance. Tobacco leaf, vanilla, tonka bean, dried fruit. Very warm, very inviting, very color worthy, lasts forever. Can't go wrong with this juice. Those are my picks. That's why I'm be wearing a ton of this winter time. Hope you enjoyed watching. Hello everyone, Steven here from Radolescence with my top fragrance picks for the winter of 2012. First up is my casual scent. This is a beautiful contemporary interpretation of church incenses and it has a wonderful resinous dry down due to the apovenax. It's from the house of Amouage and this fragrance is called Interlude Man. Next up is my night out scent. This scent contains a great deal of gourmet plum which makes it very playful, but it also contains an inoffensive oud note which makes it appropriate for the winter season as well. It's from the house of Bond number 9 and this fragrance is called Andy Warhol. And last up is my Cozy by the Fire scent. This was an easy one. This is very spicy up on top due to the clove, cinnamon, nutmeg and cardamom. It has a beautiful cocoa dried down with a bit of milk in it. It's from the house of Magnetic Scent. And this fragrance is called Untitled Number no. 2. So there you have it. Those are my top fragrances for the winter of 2012. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, Lupe here from The Lupe Experience with four fragrance recommendations for the winter. To make sure you keep smelling really good even in that cold winter chill first off for casual occasions definitely killian's sweet redemption orange blossom and vanilla dries down to a whipped ice creamy orange dreamsicle incredible projection of longevity garners incredible compliments check out my review on this one for work because i like to keep it classy Smooth, different, polished, Dior Um. I got a review on this one. Iris Cocoa with a leather base. Mmm, just too good. Nighttime, partying, let's ratchet up the sexiness a couple of notches with Dior Um Intense. Yeah, you can't separate me from this one. It's a surefire one. With intensified notes of cocoa, the muskiness is up a couple notches the projection the longevity the sexiness Ooh, this fragrance is bad next up for my cozy one-on-one -on -one fragrance that aroma that you know I put on to seduce my special lady definitely it's got to be the sexiest fragrance that I know definitely my Valentine's Day fragrance and that is Killian's back to black aphrodisiac the subtitle says it all check out my review on this one it's a masterpiece and the sexiest fragrance i could ever recommend to you so there you have it guys four fragrances keep you smelling really good this winter so go out there smell good and be sure to tell them that lupe sent you cheers guys what's going on 2012 winter favorites uh, of mine I'm going to give you guys two picks that I'm wearing this winter. As of right now, I have been rocking Auto Portrait by Olfactive Studio as my daytime fragrance. This is just fantastic. Um, it's got cedar. It's got vetiver. It has uh, oak moss in it. It's very dry. Uh, very attractive. Off the charts with compliments. Okay? Off the charts. So check this stuff out, guys. All right? Auto Portrait. And my nighttime kind of going out. And I'm going to kind of give it a slash cozy of the way it dries down um is mona de oreos vanille this stuff is it's just absolutely amazing it, it it opens up with this citrus blast and it's got a lot going on and as it dries down it just becomes this this smooth um smooth vetiver with the woods and this kayak wood there's rum there's, there's a lot going on in this particular fragrance you got to get past those quick top notes four minutes later it becomes the most beautiful thing absolutely love it that's my picks, guys. 2012 winter. I will see you guys soon. Later. How's it going, guys? Things gent. Brandon here doing my top picks for winter 2012. Kicking off with my casual scent. Casual scent for 2012 in the wintertime is going to be DR Ohm. Very nice iris floral with a nice cocoa type vibe at the base. Very nice. And for my night out fragrance, none other than 
Edis Ganache by Guerlain. Um, this fragrance is very nice. Comes off with a white floral, I'm sorry, iris at the top. Mixed in with some white chocolate. Very nice fragrance. And then for my cozy scent, you guys already know if you've seen my star lineup video, this is Mascaravajar by Frederick Mall. So there you have it, my top picks from the 2012. Thanks for viewing. Hey Fumies, Chocolate Bunny 7 here, and here are my top three winter picks. My top pick for casual is definitely Joe Malone's Black Vetiver Cafe. I call this one Holiday at the Office. It has coffee, it has nutmeg, and it has some green notes as well. Everyone needs citrus, everyone needs coffee in the morning. I think those are two great pick-me-up notes that you need. The green kind of balances you out throughout the day. My top pick for a night out would definitely be Bond Number no. 9's New Harlem. It has lavender, it has coffee, like a pancakey, pastry type smell. It's definitely good uh, for standing out amongst the crowd in the club. You don't want to smell like all the other pink sugars. This will definitely get you the attention that you want. For a cozy night by the fire, I would definitely pick Serge Luton's Je de Peau. It has a bready, oatmeal-y, apricot type scent. Perfect for being in front of a fire. Happy filming, guys! Hey guys, my name is Fernando, and these are my top picks for fall winter. So my cozy fragrance is Bois des Iles, it's Chanel, it's Sandalwood, it's Sauderhide, it's Gourmand, it's everything you can wish for when you are at home. So my signature scent is a bit rouge au de parfum, the new concentration. It's the classic Guerlain for men, everyone knows it. It's oriental, it's leathery, you have the powdery vanilla base, the citric opening, just gorgeous. And my night out fragrance is something very different from I think everyone will choose. And it's Ormond Man. It's a woody fragrance, it's unique, it's beautiful, well done, uh, everyone can relate to it and you smell different from everyone else. And I love it, it's very dry, woody, aromatic. Thank you, bye bye. See, what did I tell you? Lots of great ideas mentioned for Rockstar Fragrances for the winter months in this video. Damn, no doubt about that. <laughs> But that's the end of the vid, guys. I would like to extend a big thank you for all of you uh, for stopping by and checking this out. I would also like to extend a big thank you to all of you for your support. Uh, greatly, greatly appreciate it. We all appreciate it. And uh, looking forward to seeing you for the spring collaboration video. I know I'm looking forward to spring, but man, it's an awfully long ways off. <laughs> this is going to be a long couple of months, but we'll make it. We'll live through it. Uh, but that's it guys, you guys take care and we'll see you soon.